making a fucking video all night. Give a big warm welcome for Jared Lowe. Okay, thanks for making me last. That's, uh... Okay. <laughs> That's kind of a way of roasting me, is making me last. Because, also, really, uh, inappropriately racist. <laughs> and we're gonna remember. <laughs> so, you know, we all remember what was said. <laughs> no need! No need! There's no need. <laughs> I say that right before I go into my jokes, uh, which will not be racist. Um, let's go. Mike, Mike Racine. Mike Racine, if you don't know, during the day, he works as a trash collector. Which makes you wonder if he's ever accidentally collected himself. Uh, that's pretty good, right? Mike Lawrence, Mike, if you talk about, first of all, you're set uncomfortable. <laughs> as, as, is no, as is knowing you. And, uh, if you talk about how hard it was to work at McDonald's one more time, you're going to stuff your head in a fryer. <laughs> you had a job! <laughs> survived the purges in Sarajevo. <laughs> Mike, Mike, as people have mentioned, he likes to post his opinions on, like, Batman movie news twice a day, and he reads a book every ten years, so that's good. <laughs> Probably because he's dyslexic, he's all handicapped all over. Okay. <laughs> Jeffrey Joseph was in a lot of movies in the 80s and 90s, and now he performs at the Creek and is in his 50s. Uh, they say black don't crack, but careers do veer. Well, who cares? Tim Dillon, I think my favorite Tim Dillon moment was a couple weeks ago when I said, who is Tim Dillon? Because <laughs> he's unknown. <laughs> Yamanika Saunders, Yamanika, uh, you know, Yamanika is a per is she, you know she's a comedian because she's very unique, but she's also someone you've met, do you know what I mean? Like, she's that woman ahead of you in line at the Whole Foods who's complaining that the salad costs $11.25. <laughs> in other words, she's in other words, in other words, she's the type of woman that makes white people more racist. Mark Bjorn. I love you, Yamanika. Mark Norman is a sociopath. <laughs> Look him up. Look up all the characteristics. Um, he's, off, he's often listed on lineups. He doesn't bother to show up for, which just reminds you how nice it is when he's not there. <laughs> he recently started dating again, which imagine being the woman on that date. Because he, he looks good, but then his personality is animatronic grandpa. <laughs> Don't get to know him. Taylor Ketchum, the job heroin started, show business will finish. Uh, as it will for all of us. Uh, Henry Zabrowski, modern day carnival freak. All of his success is tied to his unlikely but amusing body shape. Just put him in a cage and let him bite the heads off chickens. <laughs> Scott Chaplin, not successful enough to be allowed to be that angry. Aim <laughs> at society, Scott, not specific races and people. Okay. Let's talk about Dan briefly. Uh, Dan is actually one of the comics who popular, popularized having a beard as a comedic crutch. <laughs> Dan actually
actually he dates a lot of women, which should just be the text of a tweet that ends hashtag yes all women. <laughs> Sincerely, really bad for them. <laughs> Can you imagine you go on an OK Cuban and then you get Dan? That's like no. fucking terrible. Man, there was a time for a little bit right after your last relapse. Man, you, you were going on like three OK Cuban dates a night. And I gotta believe that that just added to like the aggregate, you know, unrest in New York during that time. <laughs> Look it up and see if there were more shooting deaths. <laughs> There's no way it didn't add to the e uh, evil in the city. Uh, you talk like you're from somewhere in the West, which is funny because you're from Westchester. <laughs> Dan likes, well, you like rockers like Bob Seger, so you were like, oh, I'll just act like I'm him. Which you, like if I walked around pretending to be Dave Matthews. <laughs> Green Day. No one would buy it. A lot of us grew out of that. Uh, a lot has been made of Dan's alcoholism by Dan. Most of us don't care. He keeps bringing it up. Don't, no one gives a shit. Uh, but you know, I've never actually seen Dan drunk on alcohol. I have seen him drunk on the power of running an open mic. <laughs> Dan is strong. Dan is stronger than alcohol, and you know because he's beaten it four times. Four different times. It's, he relapses a lot. But you know what? Your persona, you, the, the, the stage persona you have is, you know, it's like, I'm sad, I'm washed up, I'm failing, I can't get the girl, or I can't keep the girl. And what I wish for you... And what I sincerely wish for him, I wish for you a, a good woman. I wish for you babies. I wish for you a house, a nice house. I wish for you barbecues. I want to come to the barbecue. So basically, the complete antithesis of everything you stand for. That's what I want for you. I love you. I love you too.